2007, I remember going to the AT&T store to get my first phone. Now, Steve hadn't taken a bite out of the cell phone market yet, but there was one tree that held that sweet, juicy market share up high. And that was Nokia. Samsung, LG, Motorola, Play School, they tried shooting them, crushing them, dropping them from a dangerous height. But Nokia always seemed to come out stronger for it. The year in question, they held about half the cell phone market, and lo and behold, became my first step into a shittier world. The 6133. Push to start technology. Text messaging by hitting the number three times. Nine minutes and 36 seconds of video. Kinda perfect for a 10 year old. But as I too got older and bounced from a Samsung impression to an LG brick to finally an iPhone of my own, Nokia was nowhere. In fact, kinda dead, as in the meme. You have to understand that Nokia had been around. Around them. <laughs> For the first hundred years of their existence, they were a hodgepodge that dabbled in toilet paper, tires, rubber boots, gas masks, chemicals, plastics, telegrams, heavy machinery, and, and yeah, that's, that's it. Kari Kariamo comes in and says, You buy Solora, Luxor, Oceanic, are you okay? Hop, skip, third largest TV manufacturer in Europe. Hey, what about cell phones? What do you think this is? Impossible goddamn shit. Before all of this, they actually did get in on the ground floor as a developer of the first international cell phone network. But understand, when we're talking about mobile phones in 1982, we're talking car phones. Looks like a bomb. <laughs> Talkman. <laughs> City Man 900. That's what I'm talking about. Like Motorola's brick that revolutionized the industry, it was one of the first hold it up to your ear type of cell phones as demonstrated by one Mikhail Gorbachev himself in 1987. <laughs> <laughs> this was their roadster. Impressive, but the infrastructure still ass, so your reception, voice, clarity, and talking time is not it. Hence why Nokia was more into making TVs the hotter product at the time. But the thing is, that wasn't going well. Sure, they bought up all these companies to get into consumer electronics, and hell yeah, revenues went up, but profits didn't. And the reason why they didn't is kinda hidden in plain sight in any pano of Times Square at the time. Like, you take one look and you can kinda get the idea of what they were up against. I would also like to assume that the Finnish banking system going full on 2008 and Glasnost going over This is like capitalism. This is like the dark women Also led to something bad? Oh shit. Yarma Lila comes out and says, Computers? Garbage. Boots? Eat them. Pull them up. Tires? I don't fucking know, dude. Go make rubber. Too, buddy. Why go all in on phones here? At the time, Motorola was the king. I mean, they put out the brick that made the first call and helped develop some infrastructure themselves, and already had a pretty iconic set of phones out there. They had a 40% global market share and made $453 million while Nokia burned before. Pioneers knew their stuff, had the sleekest product, had the customers, and had the money. Nokia had it. Yeah. Let's go Jesus bowling. Christ. This here? Change goddamn world. Behind the scenes of outwardly pissing themselves, Nokia had been helping develop a newer cell phone network in Europe, much like they did a decade before. Only this was a big step up. Like, you'd actually hear the person clearly, like they were in another room and not in a play place inside the slide. The screen. We know it is 2G. And Nokia provided the first phone used to make the first call over this network that they helped develop. It's a hell of a reverse card. Could have been this too. You, you know, that, that might have done it. The point is, Nokia Set fucked for the next 15 years. They were forward looking, they were cool, they were really cool, charged up, and decently dressed for once. If someone slung it at your head, you could die. Camera, okay. By 98, they shot past them as the number one cell phone maker in the world. By 2003, Nokia was making $4.5 billion a year. Pioneers knew their stuff, had the sexiest product, had the customers, and had all of the money. Let's make the end gauge. Gaming. Back when my friend Derek and I used to look up cheats, I'd see Engage in a column, and I honestly didn't think it was a real product. <laughs> like, like, what is that? Tomb Raider emulator. That is a phone 
that is an MP3 player that wanted to compete with the Game Boy Advance by being too... <laughs> Hundred dollars more? Hey, Tony Hawk looks pretty good though. This era was very experimental in general. Oh, sick! The keypad has six ovals now. Oh my God! The numbers are in a circle. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what? You know that video? It's like future consoles, Xbox 720, like Wii 2, PS4. I immediately <laughs> look at this and I think of that video. Nokia gave me my first cell phone. And that was pretty much the last thing they ever did. <laughs> Instead of adopting a similar app-based operating system, they stuck to what put them on the map. The same thing Motorola did when Nokia was on the come up. It wasn't just about having a phone that worked well anymore, it was about what that phone could do. And Nokia couldn't, or wouldn't in this case. By the time they gave in to partner with Microsoft on the Windows phone, it's way too late. Their market share cratered. They lost all of the money. Microsoft up and dropped them in purgatory. <laughs> Brought back the blunt force weapon in its original and 4G forms. The Matrix phone, some with five cameras, some that are 5G, and the one that is confirmed to be used by Kim Possible. Back on 5G, they are really all in on this thing. So much that they're actually building a tower on the moon when we eventually ruin space. They don't have any semblance of footing in the smartphone market at all, but with their older reissues, they aren't doing too bad for a formerly dead company. It's honestly kind of cool to see that Nokia is still giving a decent amount of people their first step in cell phones, just like they did for me so many years ago. <laughs> Zagorbachova! 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 Zagor